<laughs> Week nine, marathon training for the Run Disney Marathon Weekend, January 2022. Oh man, it's Long Run Saturday. We got out early this time. Hey, hey, thanks for joining us. We're training for the Walt Disney World Marathon scheduled for January 2022. If you like this video, hit a like. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You'll get notifications. We are uploading videos every week for the next 12 19th. 12? Oh. Oh, no. I'm way No, my... we have way longer to go than that. If you've seen any <laughs> of our videos before, you know I'm not good at math. <laughs> Many, many, many more to come every week. This is week nine. Nine. So, uh, we got some updates. We went shopping for new shoes. We needed them. Yeah. Hundreds of miles on the old ones. and mm, For you. For me. And th they weren't really working for me. Uh, so, we went to our, our place here in town, we both got shoes, uh, it was a really awesome experience. Uh, here's some footage, uh, so we went in there and you were first. Yeah, so they have a stand on a thing and they scan your feet, I, you know, whatever, I don't know what they do with that information exactly, but they can tell, you know. If you're a pronator or not, mm -hmm. um, well, and, uh, actually, how exactly, precisely what size your foot is. Here, here's the image of your uh, scanned feet right here. And it's got all the info on there, you know, size, width, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. But then they also had you walk on a pressure mat. Yeah. And we didn't get a scan of that, which is a shame because it was pretty neat, actually. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, had you walk. And if you've ever tried to walk normally, when somebody tells you... <laughs> It's really important that you walk normally. It's almost impossible. Gosh, it was hard. Yeah. yeah. So hard. you walk across this mat several times, back and forth, back and forth, until they get like a full, you know, pressure like, reading scan, and then they show it to you, like, <laughs> broop, 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 what your foot looks like when it walks. Um, and I don't know. I suppose they use that information. So yeah. <laughs> well, shoes, it so. was pretty cool because uh, uh, mm. uh, Carol, who helped us, mm. she, she was fantastic. She said, you know, not only is it showing us where uh, the bulk of your weight is placed on your feet, but mm -hmm. also how you walk, you know, are you a toe walker or are you a heel walker or are you an even, uh, you know, pressure walker, whatever that is, helps them figure out what kind of shoe to offer you to try mm -hmm. as well as uh, inserts if you need that. Right. So that was really cool, mm -hmm. right? So we both uh, uh, were offered uh, several brands of shoes to try mm -hmm. uh, and settled for shoes that are pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, not settled, I would say. No, but not settled. I mean, we chose. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. I think mine are beautiful too. They're um, like turquoise and pink. It's kind of like fuchsia, more fuchsia, which normally I'm like very uh, anti people putting pink all over women's athletic gear. Um, that's a story for another day. Uh -huh. If you ever get a couple drinks in me and let me loose on that subject, we'll but that. <laughs> but um, these are they're just like they're so beautiful. I love them so much. Well, and you know, that's that's the thing, too. Uh, we were given advice a long time ago at one of our first fittings. Um, uh, don't go with the way the shoe looks. Mm -hmm. Go with the way mm -hmm. it feels. And but because in this of case, that, I've ended up with many pairs of ugly, yeah. ugly, yeah. big, you know, <laughs> old man white shoes. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, <laughs> these worked out great. But yeah, this is great. Yeah. And we took them out. Uh, actually, we took them out for our... We took them out last week. Uh, for our nine miler, right? Yeah. Yeah, we took them out our nine. Uh, here's a before after. Uh, here's the. Uh, they got a little dusty on the trail. Yeah, we <laughs> but we cleaned them. Uh, <laughs> I, I've got a soft bristle uh, uh, shoe brush. Took all. I, of... I think my shoes are so pretty. I asked David to clean them yeah. up. And I did. <laughs> after we went trail running. Before after actually <laughs> after before whatever. Uh, take a look at these. After uh, after after. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that was great. But uh, another thing too. So we got inserts. 
uh, which makes a big difference, right? The take out the, yeah. the take out the inserts that come we both with. Both need the a shoes. little extra help in there. Yeah, so uh, that worked out really, really well. Here are my scans. If you want to look at uh, scans of my feet, right there. Uh, but then you know uh, you're running a marathon, so you're going to swell up. So typically you're going to get shoes one size, full size larger, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So one full size larger than your uh your shoe size uh and then we were there we said oh we need some socks actually what happened was hey we're having a sock sale <laughs> oh, yeah. do you want some socks too and we're like sure yeah, we haven't spent like, enough ah. money let's uh let's go ahead and <laughs> yeah it's a drop in the bucket <laughs> <that socks>, <laughs> uh, but then it was like okay well uh make sure you get socks a size larger so I've always, I'm, the socks that we get, we get features, and the Good socks. size medium, which is what I've historically worn, it runs from size 5 to size 9. I'm a size 9 in non-running shoes, or I'm 10 in running shoes, but size 9. And they have always been just like kind of a little snug, and it never occurred to me until um, staring at that wall, I'm like, hey, my feet are kind of cramped on my socks. Maybe I should go up a size. Yeah, right. <laughs> it made a big difference. Yeah, it did because, you know... Uh... I'm wearing socks that are, I don't know what, what it is, it's like a size uh, 10 to 12. Uh, and it, no. Oh, co Somebody's going on a leisurely walk down the street and our alarm system needs to let us know about it. Coach is a little upset about something. So I wear, I, I, wear a, I wear a size 12, and so I got the next size up of sock, and it made a big difference because when we come back from runs, you know, I'd have these really deep gouges in my... Yeah. His big toe. Yeah. Busted you know, his socks. Like, yeah, so, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Got these new socks. Went for a nine miler. New mm -hmm. socks, new mm -hmm. shoes. Awesome. So, all of that to say, uh, if you've got a lot of miles on your shoes, might be time to contemplate getting some new shoes. If you've never done it and you're just running with uh, whatever shoes, it, it might help a lot because, I mean, you're, you're putting a lot of pounding and on there, your And there are lots of different qualities of feet and if you just go into a shoe store and like oh these look good yeah you know i mean you know sure for wearing or leisurely stroll or whatever but i mean if you're if you're if you're working towards a 5k 10k half marathon full marathon I mean, you really want to, as much help as possible because uh, i mean they're your feet yeah uh, so and i got some really cool shoes I, i've never had shoes like this before but it helps with the uh, the roll so uh, they've got this uh, roll feature. They feel great. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it makes me feel like I'm going faster. I'm not, but it makes me feel that way. So, you know, it's uh, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of mental. So, <laughs> so anyway, we, 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 uh, we did that. Uh, so our mm -hmm. advice to you, make sure you got the right shoes and you've got some weird pains here and there. Could be your shoes. Yeah, that's true. You know, doing a lot of running. Uh, and then something else we did uh, this week, uh, since this is the end of week, Nine. Nine. Uh, this was a, a short long run Saturday. Uh, today we ran four miles. And uh, it also uh, happened to be uh, our uh, wedding anniversary week. So we celebrated by eating things we should not have eaten. No, no. We, we celebrated. Totally needed to eat them. We celebrated by eating things we, we don't needed normally to eat. eat. <laughs> yeah, it was. We don't rough. normally. Oh eat. man, it was rough. It was wonderful. Yeah, the food was. Oh, it, we man. ate a lot of really rich food this week. So yeah. this morning, I didn't want to go for a run. Neither did I. I really didn't feel like it. Didn't I had a really brick feel in like my, it. A brick in my gut. Kind of sweating grease uh, already. And sugar. It was. Yeah. Oh, the food was so was good. Delicious. But. We got out there anyway, mm -hmm. uh, because one of the one of the things that really helped was, well, we need to because we're training for a marathon. But the other thing is the temperature was kind of uh, lower today than normal. I yeah. Uh, even though it was ninety three percent humidity this morning, <laughs> yeah, the uh, temperature was lower and it was cloudy. So we went out for a nice. four mile. It, it really was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. Bad. So yeah, we did it, which was awesome. And now we don't really have to do anything for the rest of the day. That's true. <laughs> Uh, again, uh, we're running once during the week, typically Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have long run Saturday, uh, which uh, it, it bounces between a short uh, run and then a long run that slowly increases over the uh, many weeks of training. So 
week 10, we're running uh, Wednesday. We're doing our uh, speed running. Uh, and then uh, a week from today, we'll be running 11 miles. Double digits. Double Yay. digits. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Uh, it, it really is a great feeling. Uh, hopefully, yeah. we'll feel like doing it because it's 11 miles. Uh, yeah. I'm sure we will plan accordingly. We'll hydrate and we'll uh, we'll get the right yeah. nutrition going. Uh, but that's an update on uh, our training and what's going on with us. Let us know how you're doing. We really like the comments and suggestions, uh, and we will do our best to um, uh, keep up with uh, uh, what you want to see and hear. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Coach apparently needs some attention. What do you need, Pillow? Oh, what do you want with Pillow? <laughs> so we're going to pay attention to Coach. Thanks again for joining us. Man, everything we do is always an adventure with you. Careful. Can't go to the hospital.